so now that we have taken a look at what stemming is and seen how it works we're going to go ahead and try to understand how lemmatizing works and what lemmatizing actually means hi this is shonko and welcome back to nlp with python so lemmatizing is another way of grouping words into base words with similar meanings and if we uh, go for uh, the formal definition it is a process of grouping together the inflected forms of a word so that they can be analyzed as a single term identified by the words lemma lemma is a canonical form of a set of words simply put lemmatizing is a process of grouping words into a single dictionary word that represents the meaning of that group of words so lemmatizing and stemming are pretty similar to each other but there are a few differences between lemmatizing and stemming and let's take a look at the differences between them so stemming is typically faster as it simply chops off the end of a word using heuristics without any understanding of the context in which a word is used it takes a more crude approach and lemmatizing is typically more accurate as it uses more informed analysis to create groups of words with similar meaning based on the context around the word lemmatizing always returns a dictionary word so lemmatizing is not uh, simply about chopping the end of the word or chopping chopping words to uh, break them down to a base word it rather takes a more uh, analyzed approach it, it uh, does a bit more analysis to create groups of words and uh, it takes a bit of more computational power and hence it is a bit slower than stemming and let's take a look at the examples of stemming and lemmatizing so i'm going to import nltk and nltk provides both le uh, lemmatizers and stemmers so first i'm going to create a stemmer and we're going to use the porter stemmer so i'm going to say ps equals nltk dot border stemmer and I'm going to uh, use the word net lemmatizer so I'm going to say wn equals nltk dot word net lemmatizer and let's run this and let's try to print some words print the stemmed and lemmatized forms of some of some words so i'm gonna say print ps that is coder stemmer dot stem and we're gonna use meanness m-e-a-n-n-e-s-s -S -S. and let's just copy this and paste it and let's say meaning let's run this so both these words are chopped down to mean but that is not correct that is not accurate and hence uh, despite being a bit faster ps or a, a stem or a stemming is not always accurate now let's go ahead and try these words with uh, the lemmatizer so i'm gonna say print wn dot lemmatize and i'm going to grab this word and paste it here and we're going to print meaning as well and let's run this so we can see uh, the lemmatizer doesn't change the base words and keep them as they are the, the original word so meanness and meaning are different so if if we are using a stemmer meanness and meaning would uh, mean the same thing to python which is not correct and if we are using a lemmatizer these words would mean different to python and that is actually correct and let's try out some other words so i'm gonna say goose and geese now visibly these are uh, same the same words and uh, this is just uh, the plural uh, term for this word and let's try to use a stemmer and stem down these words and stemmer doesn't know what to do with these words and it just returns some uh, random words for these uh, these two words and let's try the same words with 
a limitizer and see how it works so both these words are uh, grouped into goose and that is correct so despite the fact that limitizer takes a bit of uh, more computational power and a bit of more time it is more accurate than stammer and it always returns a word a dictionary word unlike uh, stammer but in our example we're going to use we're going to go ahead with the stammer and we're not going to use limitizer because limitizer would take a lot of time for processing the data that we have inside our data set and we'll just keep it simple and uh, use a uh, stammer but I would encourage you guys to drill down the limitizer and uh, know more about it so let's take a look at what we have done so far so we have read the data from the file named SMS spam collection so essentially this is a file that we have read in using the pandas library and we have created a data frame out of the raw text data and then we have removed punctuation from the data set we have tokenized the string of words into a list of tokens and we have removed stop words we have stained the data set so this is all that we have done so far and next up we're going to take a look at vectorizing and try to vectorize our data so what vectorizing let's take a look at what vectorizing is so up to this point we have discussed several times how python really only sees a string of character when looking at text data now that we have learned how to read in text data and clean up the raw data we need to format the data to something that python can understand and comprehend and choose to train a model the process of converting text to form to a form that machine learning can understand and comprehend is called vectorizing so vectorizing is basically a process of encoding text as integers to create feature vectors now if you're new to machine learning and uh, if you're not already familiar with feature vector well a feature vector is an n-dimensional ve vector of numerical features that represent some object and we're going to try to understand what feature vectors and vectorizing is in a later part of this course and let's talk about document term matrix a bit so a document term matrix or a term document matrix is a mathematical matrix that describes the frequency of terms that occur in a collection of documents in a document term matrix rows correspond to documents in the uh, in the collection and columns correspond to terms so that is a very formal definition and uh, if we try to simplify things a bit basically a document or matrix would have rows representing each uh, each message inside our document and the columns would represent each distinct words that form this document that are present inside the message that uh, inside the actual message and the cells inside would represent a num would be a number that would represent the uh, times or that this particular word occurs inside the document so at a very high level that is what document term matrix is and there are various ways or various types of vectorization that we can do on our data and uh, they are count, count vectorization in gram vectorization and term frequency or inverse term frequency inverse document frequency or tfidf and we're going to take a look at each of these uh, vectorization types in our next few chapters and uh, stay tuned for the next chapter bye